guys good morning good afternoon good evening today i will be teaching us cpr which means cardiopulmonary resuscitation this is done in an emergency situation it is sort of like an a face air given to someone in an emergency situation before proper help arrives or before taking the person to the hospital so today i'm going to be teaching us on what to do before help arrives for the person in an emergency situation bear in mind that in cardiopulmonary resuscitation there are five things to have at the back of your mind which are danger a response airway breathing and circulation the circulation it is where cpr comes in so in danger you when you come in an emergency situation and this is for example this is the person in this is the person in the emergency situation you look around the person and see if there is anything that will pose more danger to the person for example this is a danger to the person when you are resuscitating so you take it out then you've taken out danger you come to the person meal and check if the person is will respond to you so i'm tapping this person on the shoulder hello are you all right are you all right so there is no response you've confirmed that there is no response and you feel to see if there is the chest wall is rising up and down now there is no uh, response then what you do is to go back to airway remember we've done danger and response you go to airway what you will do is to turn turn the casualty onto their back if for example if the casualty is like this what you do is to Turn the casualty to their back. When you turn the casualty to their back, place your hand on their forehead. When you place your hand on the forehead, gently tilt their head to open up their airway, which is A. When you tilt and open up their airway, with your two fingers, uh, uh, you, you will use your two fingers under their jaw to tilt, gently tilt their jaw be careful not to press anywhere because you don't know if the person has a spinal injury if the person in or if the person is having an internal bleeding just gently tilt their head when you do that you look listen and feel for breathing when you look you've looked there is no rising and falling of the chest wall what you do is to listen you come close to their mouth to listen if there is any breathing once you've listened that there is no breathing what you do is to feel feel for air you feel for air there is no no breathing from the casualty what you do is to commence cardiopulmonary resuscitation immediately what what we are going to do is to lean adjacent before the person place one hand below the sternum of the person place the other hand you can do it the other way anyhow you feel comfortable you do it when you place your hand underneath the person's sternum you place the other one to interlock it once you interlock it you are going to do 30 chest compressions to two breaths so you do like this. make sure you don't press too hard but you are going to do that to get up to 100 to 20 beats so you do like this make sure you don't lean towards the person you lean straight and do 30 chest compressions when you do 30 chest compressions you come tilt the person's head open you have a pinch of the softest part of their nose open up their mouth do two ch uh, chest breaths you when you do the first one you listen to see if there is any rising and falling of the chest then you do another one listen and feel if there is no no breathing continue the chest compressions again 30 chest compressions to two breaths you continue until help comes remember that you have to chase crowds and instruct someone to start calling an ambulance start looking for help you continue to do the chest compressions till help arrives and when doing the chest compressions i don't know if there is any defibrillator around but when you are calling an emergency service ambulance or anything tell them to bring defibrillator if there is anyone around but if there is no 
continue to do this till help arrives until the person is taken to the hospital for proper treatment. Thank you.